Hi everyone, this is Pierrick from P2Design. In this video, I will show you everything you need to know to create rig custom bone shape in Blender. In this video, you will understand how scale and orientation works for bones, all the basic tips you need to know to create proper custom shapes, what kind of object can be used as a custom shape, but we will also see custom shape overrides, how to make a custom shape follow the skin of your character, and most importantly, how to properly align your custom shape to any bone in a couple of clicks without even thinking about the mesh orientation. Let's get started. Let's start with a simple armature made of two bones with different size and orientation. Before we create our first shape, it's easier to understand the orientation of the custom shape if we can see the orientation of our bones. To do so, go into the armature properties, click viewport display and enable the names to see the name of the bone and axis to see their local axis. As our first custom shape, I will create a simple plane. Then I will go to the object properties in the viewport display, I will display the axis and the name. And I will rename it WGT for widget. To add a custom shape to a bone, select the armature, go into pose mode, select the bone, go in the bone properties and under viewport display, go in the custom shape submenu, custom object and choose the widget. Now our plain object name WGT has become the custom shape of the bone. Moving, rotating or scaling our widget object in object mode won't affect the way it is displayed as a bone custom shape. To better understand the orientation and size of the custom shape, I will create a new custom shape. I will add a simple cube, go into edit mode and I will shape it into an arrow. I will call it WGT arrow and display its name and axis. I can move it on the side in object mode, it won't affect the custom shape and then assign it to both bones. You can use the eyedropper to source the 3D object directly in the 3D viewport. The Y axis of the custom shape is aligned with the Y axis of the bone. The origin point of the custom shape is aligned with the head of the bone. Modifying the mesh in edit mode will update the custom shapes. If you want your object to be exactly the same size as the bone, just make sure that your custom mesh object from its origin to its further Y axis point has a length of one blender unit. Whatever the size of the bone, the length of the custom shape will fit its head to tip size. So when you want to create a custom shape for your character rig, just create a dedicated collection that we will call WGT. Then in object mode, we can add a simple plane, go into edit mode. By default, your plane will be two meters by two meters. So I will move the front vertices by one meter on the Y axis, then press M to merge them into one vertices, select the two other vertices, press M to merge them too. This way I get an edge of one meter with its first vertex aligned with its origin point. This will make a perfect ruler for whatever additional widget you want to create. This way, if I want to create a simple custom shape, I can duplicate this ruler, edit it, add a circle in the middle, for example, and it will be a perfect shape for my forward kinematic controllers. And when I will assign it to the bone, the length of the custom shape will be perfect. If I want, I can then go back into edit mode onto the custom shape and make the circle bigger so that it fits my character limbs. If I now uncheck scale to bone length, then it's the object size that matter. Whatever the size of the bone, it will have the same size as the custom shape. Editing the size of the object in edit mode will update the size of the bone custom shape. If you change the size of the object in object mode, don't forget to press Ctrl A and apply the scale. Finally, on top of this, you can change the scale of the custom shape by playing with the scale factor. You can use almost any type of object as a custom bone shape. You can use mesh object as we have seen before, metaballs, text, even empties. But you can't use grease pencil strokes nor curves. Your bone shape will disappear. 
But if you want to use curve to create a complex custom shape, then just select it and once you're done, go to object, convert to mesh. Becoming a mesh object, the custom shape will appear. You can assign the same custom shape to multiple objects by simply holding the ALT key whenever you are choosing the custom shape. You can force the custom shape to be displayed as wireframe, avoiding it to occlude the view. There is a trickier option that can be very useful. You can display the custom shape of one bone in the position of another bone. Choose your custom shape first and then in the override option, choose the bone you want your custom shape to be displayed on. A good practice is then to hide or lock the bone that is used as an override because manipulating the override bone will modify the orientation scale or location of your custom shape. This tutorial is sponsored by myself. If you want to learn all my rigging technique or if you want to create stylized character from scratch, you will find all you need on my Gumroad page. Use the code P2Design and get 10% on whatever product you want. We can use this tool to make a bone following the surface of the skin of our character. Here I have a controllable bone that deform the cheek of the character, but it doesn't follow the skin. I will snap the cursor to his head, then go back into object mode, press shift A and add an empty. The empty is now aligned with the bone head and also aligned with a vertex that is underneath. You can change the display size of the empty in the empty properties. Then with the empty selected, I will select my character head Tab into edit mode, select the nearest vertex and then press Ctrl P to make the empty the child of the vertex. From there, as I move my bone that deformed the cheek, the empty will perfectly follow the vertex it is parented to. So on my rig, in edit mode, I can add a new bone, scale it down, then go back into object mode, add an empty sphere reduce its display size into the empties properties. Then I will select my armature, go back into pose mode, select the deformation bone, go into the custom properties, source our empty sphere, and then in the override option, I will source the bone I have created. Now our custom shape will follow this newly created bone. And if we want the bone to follow the skin of our character, we just need to add a copy transform and source the empty that is a child of the vertex. From there, you can hide this bone or move it into another layer. You can also hide the empty or move it into another layer. And whenever you are moving your control bone, it will stick to the vertex. It's often a pain to properly align a custom shape on a bone that is not aligned with world space. But you can fix this in a couple of clicks. I will create a simple plane as a new custom shape. I will enter edit mode, align its bottom edge with its origin and slightly scale it down on the X axis. I will now use this object as a custom shape for the Katana sword controller. Now the trick to align our custom shape to the controller and being able to edit it with ease is simply to select the custom shape object, go into the constraint, add a copy transform constraint and as a target source the armature and the katana controller. Then select back the armature, go back into pose mode, select the bone in the display option, uncheck the scale to bone length. And now your custom shape is perfectly aligned with the custom shape object. You can then go into edit mode, switch your transform orientation to local space and now you can easily edit your mesh. Since both the bone and the widget object are now aligned in their local space, using the local space transform will make the mesh editing super easy. And it will take you a few seconds to properly create perfect custom shapes. No more guesswork to properly align everything together. Once you're done, you can get rid of the constraint on the object if you want. With this method, you don't even need to take care of the orientation of your bone or your object. This is the end of this video, I hope you find it useful and I'll see you very very soon.